nostalgia. All right, let's see. What is this set to? It should be set to payday. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So we're doing a quick recording of payday. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have the game. I guess I'll double check, even though I shouldn't have to. Just to make sure. Yep, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so... I've been doing a lot of Payday 2 in the last day and a half. Primarily because they just unleashed a lot of new Akimbo setups, which I actually put up a video of me playing with the Akimbo stuff. However, I did not notice these Akimbo Judge shotguns, which means that instead of having a Judge shotgun as a secondary and two silenced pistol, well, suppressed pistols, I can have two Judge shotguns as a primary and my RCP-90 as a secondary, which I wanted. I want to be able to use the RCP-90 and something else. But it had to be the judge, because the judge allows me to shoot bodies out of the way. So, that's a pretty sweet setup that I have for stealth. And then, I just got this baby. Let me see here. The overkill skull, basically, for beating all the heists on overkill. Even though I have two heists that I have not apparently beaten on overkill difficulty. So I was a little surprised to see this guy pop up. Even though I technically hadn't earned it yet. But apparently the game does not consider Hotline Miami or um, the Goat Sim heist as uh, heists that are required to get the difficulty skull. So basically, the most annoying heist in the game, the, the Goat Sim heist, is not required for this. Or any of the other difficulty skulls. Which is good because I hate that heist with a passion and probably won't ever play it again because it sucks. It's really, really hard. But I apparently beat all the other heists and I got this today. So I tweaked it with some nice customizations looks pretty cool um, I might even get this guy made by a artist who makes masks on DeviantArt so I can wear this and cosplay as a payday heister but that is for another day so anywho I have also as you can see made a nice rainbow skin for my Akimbo RCP-90s which I will always call this gun an RCP-90 even though it's technically just a P-90 um, I'm just thinking back to 007 and that's how I know this gun is it was a cool gun in 007 when I was like a wee bab and I was always like man that gun's so cool and you know now it's in this game it's actually pretty damn good. Like, I guess it's because of the long barrel I put on it, but it's it's decently accurate, and it's got some good stopping power. Uh, probably because it shoots out like 8,000 bullets, but... <laughs> Anywho. Um, I also have Jacket's Piece. Uh, I guess it's not previewing the skin that's on it, but here, let me uh, go ahead and equip that sucker. And there we go, rainbow skin for Jacket's piece as well. Um, I put a skin on these guys. Basically just changes it black. I wanted this skin for the judge to look like the secondary, which is this one. Um, he's holding it in the other hand, let me see if I can... I want him to hold it up so you can see it. 
There we go. There we go. So I wanted it to look like that. Which, coincidentally... Oops. I have a skin already. This one. That's basically the same thing. I actually based this this pistol skin that I made off of... Um, well, actually, I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I did base this skin off of the Judge skin that I have. I just kind of wanted a silvery gun with a green suppressor on it. And then I added green to the magazine as well. So, I wanted that on the Judge, but it ended up coming out as just solid black. Which is... Um, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's, it just kind of became solid black. Um, technically, the, I did have a different uh, Targa file attached to it that made it not black. But out of the like 17 Targa files I had when I was experimenting with it, I found one that does this blackness. And I was like, that looks okay. I didn't really feel like messing with the file too much to get what I wanted. So I was just like, it looks pretty cool when it's blacked out so I'll just take that and use it but yeah so I was intending to save getting the overkill skull for a mission that I hadn't done yet which I will now do I know there's a brand new heist and I'm gonna do that but before I do that, I'm going to do the heist I was planning to save for last. Which is... for this guy? Yeah. Hotline Miami. This is one of my favorite heists. Right now, and I'm going to do it on overkill difficulty. As though I were unlocking the hard... Ver the, uh, the overkill skull mask. Which I already have. But this is just the kind of christen the mask. It's like, this is what I would have done to earn it. Even though I would have had to beat Goat Sim as well, which that would have sucked ass. I don't think I would have filmed doing Goat Sim because it would have taken forever. I really should try using something other than the China Puff. I might just do that. As much as I like the China Puff, I use it way too much. I'm going to try and not use it. I'm definitely keeping my Corvus equipped. Although, actually, now that I think about it, I should use Jacket's piece since this is Hotline Miami. Um, I hate to use this. Because it's got a suppressor on it that reduces its damage. Honestly, I need to like get rid of most of these. Like this Desert Eagle, I should really get rid of this because I never use it. And this single Bernetti, I should probably get rid of. I need something good. I wish there was a secondary that had range. But I don't have any that are good for that purpose. I mean, this... The Cobus actually is the one that has probably the best accuracy. Yeah. It's actually, yes. It is the highest accuracy. <laughs> According to the... Somehow, this, this shotgun... Oh, it's actually 56, okay. Is there any... Oh, well, I guess the Mativer is supposedly more accurate. Oh, yeah, the Bronco is too. Yeah, we'll go with the Bronco, I guess. I just need something with good range and accuracy. Because these jackets' pieces are definitely not accurate. They're good, but they're really short range. the meth lab.
Can you break that open, really? Should have gone off somehow. What the fuck? Okay, that's broken. That is broken. That should be exploding. There's a bug for you, Overkill, if you're watching, which you're not, obviously, but. <laughs> so I could basically just not care about Playmores. So yeah, that's broken. Those are supposed to explode because they're claymores. And they're just not because they're broken. I'm not going to report it because I don't really care to make the mission harder for me for myself, but That's it for the mobsters, gang. It's kind of pointless to have them there if they're not going to blow up. Okay. Uh, I guess I thought there I thought there were gonna be more, but they're gone. I guess. Um. Let's see. Is there enough ingredients in here to start this right now? Okay. Yep. There's enough to make two batches. First is muriatic acid, which is this guy. Second is caustic soda, and then the third one is hydrogen chloride. According to the board on the wall. I'm terrible. Just because this gun is accurate doesn't mean that my ability to use its accuracy is good. you twice. Why are you not dead? Man, you just signed your death warrant. The thing that sucks about Jack at peace times two is it takes forever to reload these. Oops, I missed the tank. There we go. Yeah, there's a bulldozer. Wow. You need to die, friend. There's quite a few bulldozers about. And shit. There's a lot of snipers out here. Not anymore, there aren't. Tank there, please. What the fuck? There we go. Freed my hostages, damn them. I'll make you my hostage then, bitch. Get down there. Oh, I converted him. Damn it, I wasn't intending to do that. I actually wanted him to be a hostage. There's the cloaker I stabbed to death. Bitch. Yeah, his friends are doing more damage to me than he was. I need another tank, I guess. I 
don't know why the commissar cares that I'm destroying this place. It's like, it's a shitty fucking motel where they like, they have sex with hookers. Why the hell does he care? Unless this is his property. What the hell is the helicopter doing here? What is this about? What is sh Get out of here. Someone needs to take that damn sniper out. This would likely kill us, honestly. I don't think we would be able to get far enough away from the blast that we would be safe from that. Yeah, we would be dead. We, the people running around shooting shit, would be dead. Just saying. Shit, buddy, we're coming for you. Ow, 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 ow. Snipers need to die. Here it is. That's the hatch. I've got an idea for it. Mine is gonna be Santa. And since you're such good boys and girls. And yes, I do have a scope on my magnet. I like the accuracy on my RCP, my P90s is better than Jacket's piece. It's a little bit too crazy with the three fire. It's a little bit too much recoil, in my liking. Not that the P90s don't have it, you don't have recoil as well, but it just makes the accuracy much worse with these. I'm guessing the P90s are heavier. Physically, like their weight is heavier. Got a shield over here. Ow, ow, ow. Goddamn sniper. Shit, it's a pull the thing off is here. Toss it in the DeLorean! We get out of here 88 miles an hour, boy! Do they have a DeLorean in Hotline Miami? Ow. Goddamn Bush, get out of my way. Damn these fucking snipers. Now, 
hate that they keep coming back. They're very annoying. That reload, that's another thing about these stupid jackets pieces. They hold like no ammo. I wish there was an extended clip for these. The P90s have a hundred before I have to reload them. This is like half the ammo pool. And of course now I have to protect this truck, which means I have to be out in the open. I like being out in the open. At least I'm not having to worry about ammo. Forever. Oh, actually, the drill's only gonna take 49 seconds. Okay. Usually it takes an hour, but I guess I had the drill skills purchased, which is good. What do you think you're doing just coming down here and staring at me? Two, sh two shots directly to his face better kill him. He just got hit with a 45 directly in the face. Twice. Pretty sure if I got hit in the face with a 45 twice, I'd be uh, pretty dead. Pretty sure my head wouldn't be there anymore, or it'd be like, have a giant hole in it. Why are you constantly breaking? I just fixed you. I'm gonna stare directly at you. Don't break. Good. Good drill. Let's see. Hey boys, what's up? I got something for you. A little bit of uh, old school 80s gun action here. Okay, let's see. Crowbar? Good. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this and this for no reason. And I missed that guy's head like three times. Okay, so he said Georgetown. Rockets is what we're looking for. Oh, look, money. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Let's see, where are these rockets? Motherfuckers stop jacking off over there. There's some rockets. Uh, did I actually get the right one there?
moving, damn it. things there was a skill that pretty much negated that and they took it away that skill is no longer available to obtain as otherwise I would fucking have it because these goddamn flashbangs are so annoying although they made the game a lot easier I think because I used to die so much and now I don't die as often probably more so because of the grinder perk deck but I think they did make some enemies have less health and they die like the I remember the bulldozers being like impossible to kill they were like stay the fuck away from them let the AI kinda take care of them whereas now you can actually kill them so I'll I'll take being flashbanged over the bulldozers being impervious to damage. I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ! When does this thing, this stupid thing, finish? Damn it, come on! You, take this. There you go. Not that he's he's actually slower carrying it than I, I would be, so it would be more beneficial for me to have it than him, since I can go faster with carrying it than he can, but I just really wanted him to take it. As much as it was cool to use Jacket's pieces for this one, I think I'm switching to the RC, the, the P90s next mission. Next uh, day of this part of this mission. Because I want my best. I want, to, I want my best to kill the Commissar with. But it was good to use something else break up the monotony of always using the china puff. Who the fuck is... God, those guys are slow as shit. Why are they going that way? Why are they going the slowest possible way they could possibly go? We have to go over here, not back there. I'm getting fucking sniped. I'm getting fucking sniped by a guy with a shield. Who I'm gonna go fucking murder because I hate him. Hey, idiots, can you fucking hurry up a little bit? Jesus Christ. I'm basically just healing myself over and over out here. There's no cover. 
Can I get inside? Here we go. There's some cover. Who in the fuck is standing? Get out of fucking here. I'm gonna shoot that sniper, but this damn bush is in the way. Hey dumbasses, get your loot bags over here. Give me that. Jesus. This is one aspect where having human players would actually be beneficial. They wouldn't take a, the literal longest route to get to a fucking spot. I, I just walked into the fucking thing holding a bag, so I hope it counted. I don't think it did. Maybe it did. Maybe it, I wish it would show you how much bags. Does it show you how many bags you picked up? Of cash or whatever? Guns, weapon, the assault rifle, whatever the fuck it was. It looks like it doesn't. That's annoying. I wish it showed number of bags picked up because I had four or three. I had three bags. One for each of the CPUs and they stupidly took the longest route possible to get back. Slow. They literally, they crawled as slowly as they could which was really shitty of them. Okay. Only the best for good com for our good friend the commissar. I use my best equipment, my best everything. Get those masks on, gang. I haven't seen the right. What's up? Caught him. Now, Commissar is around here somewhere. I wish it didn't start me with my secondary out. Free health regen, why not? Anybody else want a bullet in the face? Hurry up. These things are extremely accurate. Faster, faster. For some reason. I wouldn't think they would be. But they're pretty damn accurate. Get ready now. Daniel. He set it up the elevator. Chase him. He escapes. The dentist will be pissed. Oh, he ain't escaping. We got him cornered. Are double bombs? It's still ticking. And he didn't pick the goddamn bag up. I threw it directly 
I really wish the the text that you're throwing a bag at your teammate to have him carry it thing was like a little better because I threw that straight through the dude and I keep doing it There we go. See, now that's what's missing. The laser is not on the C4 in day one. So it's not gonna go off. Where the fuck am I going? There has to be a way up somewhere. It's around here somewhere, I just don't know where. Help if there wasn't a million cops in every room. This way? Really? Okay, yes, this way, really. Said, only the bed, only the best for the comms are. The best kit. Explosives and fast weapons. Basically ensuring that I throw out as much damage as I take in. Which is how the perk deck, the Granger perk deck works. Deal more damage than you receive, and you shall be fine. Problem is, if you have literally 30 guys surrounding you, all blasting you at once, your damage taken to damage thrown out ratio is out of whack in favor of them. Because you know, there's 30 of them shooting you. <laughs> oh crap, I didn't, I, I didn't get close to the door to prompt that earlier. Oops. 
this is the situation I was talking about, where I literally can't go in a room without there being a hundred dudes in it. So that's why I have the China Puff. Crowd control. There's like 30 of them around, I just shoot the China Puff straight at the ground, and it just clears all of them out. If they ever change the China Puff and all the explosive shit to like do damage to you, uh, it will be very difficult to actually not die. Flash damage will definitely kill me. I'm pretty sure that the enemies are invulnerable to the fire from that helicopter. Which is kind of shitty, but they deserve that since I'm immune to my own explosive damage, I guess. Which is... I'll take it. Because it only would be effective on this one mission where the helicopter basically lights this up, this apartment or condo or whatever the fuck this is up completely with heavy enough fire that it would probably destroy the structural foundation of the building. on every loud mission, but it's really nice to just clear out all enemies. And my accuracy doesn't even have to be, like I don't have to hit them, I just have to shoot near them. And again, since I'm immune to my own splash damage, I can just shoot the ground right where I'm standing. And be like, stop annoying me. I just hope there's not so many enemies I have to focus on at that time that I don't get to actually shoot him, because I will enjoy killing him.
thing about these other these P90s is I have to not be crazy and spray it all over the place. I have to make my shots count. I mean, I do have plenty of ammo, and I'm never going to run out, but I have to at least make sure that when I'm reloading, I'm not dying. I have to make sure I, I hit things when I shoot them. Gunship is firing? Shit! Sniper, at least. I don't think I did. I did not. That time I did. That time I did. I wish they'd stop spawning for a little bit. Has the assault wave actually ended at all since I got here? I don't think so. Jesus, all of you die, please. Stay dead. I think I actually am ending, the assault wave is actually ending. Yeah, because I'm not being constantly assaulted, so yeah, it's about to end here. Whenever the cops start not being around as much, yeah. Oh, and he's about to fucking die. I'm getting ready to blast this motherfucking cock in the face. First, I gotta deal with this pest. Alright, here we go. Ten seconds, motherfucker. And then I'm unleashing all hell on you. Come on, door open. This place is about to get Done deal. Dead, motherfucker. Dead as dicks. The sustained fire is crazy. Melted that bolt over. I'm burning through ammo very quickly. Good God, the number of dudes out here. Give me that bag, please. Let's get this Coke. The game will allow me to pick it up.
Ow, 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 ow. Can't see. Please put down a thing. I didn't even know I got in here. Couldn't see anything. That's where I'm, my the potential for me dying is very high is when I can't see where I'm going. Basically, shoot explosives where you wish to go, and then go that way. I was trying to shoot him in the face, but he was fucked by somebody else. When in doubt, throw a grenade. Time to leave. Bye bye. There was other loot I could have gotten, but I was just tired of getting hit by shit. The longer you take in a mission, I think the more cops spawn. I don't know if there's actually a cap to that number, but it was like forming a mosh pit. And I was like, I'm done with this. I'm so over getting shot a million times. Alright, let's do another heist real quick. Um, let's see. The question is, what heist is it? Will it show up? I like how it's showing up as all two. I've just earned the overkill skull. Surely they'd be putting him on overkill or harder mayhem. The fact that the game defaults to these two skulls is a little insulting given the achievement of beating them all on overkill that I just finished. But whatever. I think it's probably just a bug in the game, actually. That it just defaults to this, even if you've done everything on the hardest difficulty available. Maybe. Like I said, I have to ask General McBadass. I'm willing to bet he's done everything on the hardest difficulty. I'm not seeing a new heist, so I'm gonna go ahead and just... Find the broker in this this guy. Okay, what are we looking for? Henry's Rock. There it Henry's is. Rock. Every crackball conspiracy theory you ever heard about classified scientific experiments and corporate occult rascality gathered in Two gilded cases like the ones recovered from Golden Grin and the FBI evidence lockup. Okay, I'm gonna set this on just plain old hard so that I can use not my best guns because I'm getting bored with I need some I need some more variety as much as I depend on that China puff to keep my ass alive 
I like to switch it up from time to time. So let's do Brothers Grimms and how about the Mozzover this time? Let's, oh, I was going to switch my melee weapon to something else too. In fact, I should restart and switch it to the chainsaw. Because I have a chainsaw. Because I, I bought the uh, Scarface character pack specifically to get that chainsaw. I also really like the Scarface mansion heist. That, that heist is really fun. So, this is going to be a tough one. The let's Katara switch to the chainsaw. The chainsaw kind of sucks, though, unfortunately. It's really slow, and it doesn't do much damage. It, you think it would do a ton of damage, but it doesn't. Okay, let's Override lockdown? Sure, why not? Um, okay. Need to get the bomb going again? Is that what he said? God, it takes forever to reload this fucking revolver. I like it. It's powerful, but god damn is that reload a long time. Kind of a slow shot too. Is this done? Oh, okay, that got completed. Come on, friend. You have to open those doors. Zero seconds. Okay, now what? Open sesame. Now, get going further. Okay. It's only going to get worse from here. Fight for survival. Razor down. Find a terminal in the mainframe to hack into. See if you can figure out where to go next, yeah? Completed what? What do you know? Okay. Holy shit. There's a lot of them standing there. Okay, what are we doing in here? Why do we need the artifact exactly? piece of sculpture there. I think we can take these. Search documents for what? What are we searching for? I don't even know. I think the only reason that these Brothers Grimm shotguns are any good is because I have shotgun perks. Otherwise, I think they would suck. I don't know what I'm searching for. Did I reveal anything doing that? There's a symbol. Snake and some kind of symbol. 
What does this one over here show? Ankh, and then another two lines instead of one. That one revealed nothing. This one revealed nothing. How many symbols are we looking for here? Oh my god. Okay, well, maybe the one and two meant something here. Two is the Ankh, and the other one was a snake, I believe. Okay, so we're looking for a snake, and then Ankh. Uh, fuck. Apparently there's more. Shit. Very hard to look at books when being shot to pieces. Third one is the leaf. Okay, I don't know if there's three or four, but leaf is the third one. Okay, apparently this is the fourth one. God damn it. Oh, I, I got it. I did it. Yay, I got the box. I don't know what the hell to do with this. Holy shit, it makes me really slow. Good thing this is on hard and not overkill. This would be quite difficult with my current weapons. This slow reload is fucking killing me. Where is this goddamn conveyor? It looks like it's really far away. Fucking shit, I'm getting blasted. This is actually kind of a cool mission though. I just don't know exactly what this is gonna do. But it's a really cool map. Like I like I like the design of it. Holy shit, do I gotta use this crane? Ooh, I do get to use a crane, you know. that the revolver is a one-hit kill and things that shoot at it, but god, that reload speed sucks. I don't know, I feel like our game kind of sucks without Bane. Apparently Bane's dead according to text on the last new mission and um, was there one after it? It was the Breaking Fed one, the only one that was new? I think it was Alaskan Deal. Between Alaskan Deal, Bane got like found. At the very end of Alaskan Deal, Bane got found. And then Breaking Feds says that Bane is dead. So they killed him. Supposedly. Maybe he isn't dead, but that's what they're making us believe by telling us that Bane is dead. Even though he may not be. Okay, now what? Oh, I gotta actually use this screen. Okay, cool. Um. Uh, do I. Am I, am I supposed to, like, push a button? I don't, know what, I don't know what's happening. Crowbar? I wonder what I can do with this. Is there things I can open? 
Give him more shit. Ooh, nice. Eyes open, be steady. Crap out of here. God, there's automated turrets shooting at me. Ain't no way I'm taking those down with what I got on me. Fuck. I feel like would be very difficult on higher difficulty levels. I'd be getting damaged very, very much right now. I ain't going out there to fucking help him. Screw that nonsense. You need to shut down those guns for Paul to get you out. Find the control boxes and shut them down. You guys are idiots being out there. Seconds in this one of them will get shut down. Four seconds. Basically invincible on this difficulty level. I mean, if you stand out there and let them shoot you forever, yeah, you'll die. You'll get down and you'll fail, but if you take cover on this difficulty level, you're pretty much okay. Same for normal. Very hard is when it starts actually starting to get hard, and then overkill is pretty difficult. Mayhem is pretty much overkill difficulty, not much change. Death Wish obviously takes it up a notch from there. And then, you know, Death Sentence is the best they have. Hit that guy with shotgun. I held in my hands. Handheld shotguns. Now the conception is that shotguns are basically just a cone of damage that becomes pretty much useless after like five feet. That's not true actually. If you get a Remington, that thing is going to be pretty accurate for at least a hundred... Well, I, I don't know how, how accurate they... how far the accuracy distance really is, but... They're surprisingly accurate over a good way. 
shotgun is pretty good self-defense weapon. Yep, let's get out. Whee! Well done, friends. That was pretty good. We got what we came for. I like that one. That I bet there's some good variation on it, too. We need to figure the out uh, underground, the under the mountain, the mountain mission for Locke is also pretty decently varied. Good, but but yeah, that one's pretty good. Retaliate. I like it. And Bane would want us to keep going, no matter what happened to him. Duke is going to have his hands full figuring out the next piece of this puzzle and what those boxes are actually good for. Until then, we lay low, plan, and survive. I like how Locke betrayed us in Alaskan deal, and yet here he is helping us now. What the fuck happened? That wasn't really ever very clear to me. In Alaskan deal, he's like, Haha, you guys are fucked, you're gonna die now, and then... We managed to get out of there. Thanks to... Was it Bane? Helping us? Because Locke basically says at the beginning of that heist, Haha, you're fucked. Enjoy dying. And then we escape. But Bane gets found at the end of the heist. And, like, Locke doesn't really say anything for the rest of the heist. So it leads me to believe that Locke betrayed us. Maybe not. Maybe that's what he was intending. Maybe the story is way more convoluted than I'm giving it credit for. I don't know. But that's gonna be it for Payday 2. Uh, thank you for joining on VOD. I would love to stream live, but again, my bandwidth is terrible, so I can't. Um, Maybe I'll upgrade my internet at some point and I'll actually live stream again. But until I do, it's only going to be VODs. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching, though. Bye.